Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. And pardon my voice, I have a little bit of a cold. This is a very different tutorial for me. David, one of my subscribers, contacted me and asked if he can pay me to teach him how to do certain things in Affinity Photo. I'm not comfortable with getting paid. I do this because I enjoy it. So what I said to him is, uh, would you be willing to let me do it as a tutorial so everyone else would learn? And he, he agreed to it. So that's what I'm about to do. It is not really a beginner's tutorial. And we'll see how this goes. So let's get started. David sent me two files. One is a Photoshop file and one is a suit pattern file. And then here are his instructions. The goal is to learn how to efficiently isolate a section of the cloth to work with, how to apply it to a mannequin, how to easily change colors, patterns of shirts, solids, and ties patterns for those layers. So this is what he's asking me to do. So what I'm going to do is open up the two files. Uh, the first one is the suit pattern. So I'm going to open with Affinity Photo 2. It's not really a digital pattern. It looks like he took a photo of some fabric, but I'll, I'll work with this and we'll see how it goes. The other thing he sent me is a Photoshop file. Luckily, Affinity Photo opens up Photoshop files, so I'm going to open that up. So let's examine first the, photo, the Photoshop file he sent me. Before I do that, actually, I'm going to save it. And the reason I'm saving it is I want it to now be an Affinity Photo file. Let's look at what we have here. This is my background. And basically, it's a pixel layer of the whole suit on this mannequin bus form. And let's turn that off. And what he has here is all the pieces. They're not great because each one is a pixel layer. I don't know why he has three ties. Um, there's, the, there's the base of the suit. And here's the lapel. And here's the other lapel. And here's the background, of the white background. So I'm turning that white background off. I really don't care about the white background. And I'm turning the bottom one off. So let's turn everything else on right now. I am not keeping, I don't know why there's three ties. I am going to get rid of two. So my first problem was when I use my patterns, for example, if I put a pattern on this left lapel and then I use a blend mode, if I have a pattern on the body of the suit, the blend mode is not going to blend in very well because it's going to mix itself with the pattern I put on on the body. So what I need to do first is actually to separate them and make sure none of the parts are overlapping each other. I'm going to command click or control on Windows and on the icon of the lapel. And that selects the lapel. And now anything that's under that lapel I want to get rid of. So I'm going to go to the body of the suit. And I'm going to do Control or Command X, which is I'm cutting. In case the tie has something underneath, I'm going to do the same thing. And the shirt underneath. Now that I did that, I'll Control or Command D and deselect. So what I've actually done is watch this. When I, I took that lapel, and now that I cut everything out underneath, if I hide that lapel, there is nothing underneath it. So that keeps that lapel its own separate thing. So I'm doing the same with the other lapel. Now let's make sure the shirt doesn't have any overlap also. So I'm going to also control or command on the shirt. And you'll, you get the idea. I'm just going to do this quickly. I'm going to control or command on all of these and make sure nothing is under them. And deselect. So now every piece has nothing underneath it, as you could see. Now that we're set up, and by the way, this is not a perfect Photoshop file because there is some white space and we really should fix that. I'll deal with that later. Let's start with doing a pattern, then we'll change colors. So let's turn all of these off. And I want you to see that the background suit isn't a grayish color, but it might be a good idea to turn that background suit into a black and white. All I really care about with the suit is showing the details underneath. So what I'll do is I will go to black and white. The black and light, white is black and white on everything. We don't want that. So I'll drag that down to the suit and to the right. 
I don't need to keep a filter on there so what I'll do now is I'll right click and say rasterize so now this particular background suit is in black and white so let's get and I'm gonna leave that on so when we put the patterns on everything else and I do blend modes this will stay in the background of each blend mode so let's go to the pattern let's start with patterns and then we'll work with colors and it's not really a perfect pattern because it was a picture so I'll do the best I can because it's a little bit wavy so what I'm going to do here now is take the rectangle selection marquee and let's get a close-up I'm going to find a box that looks fairly even so let's try this one and I'm going to make sure it's not locked and right click and make sure it is a pixel layer control or command J or copy and paste whichever you prefer and deselect and I can hide it so now I'm going to take that and go to layer new pattern layer from selection now so now I'm going to take that pattern layer copy and bring it over to I'm putting it on top I'm bringing it over to the suit and paste control command V and there it is now I'm lowering the opacity and the reason I'm doing that I want to get a close-up this pattern is definitely too big for the suit so with pattern layers you can change the size just by grabbing it and you look at this and decide how big you want those checks on your suit and I think that would work so now we can bring the pattern all the way up to hundred percent I'm gonna put these this pattern in all these parts of the suit you can do that but the problem I think is and I could be wrong is if you keep doing all these patterns I think it's gonna take up a lot of processing power so rather than do that I am going to take that pattern and duplicate it control or command J and on that pattern layer I'm going to rasterize it I'm gonna hide the main pattern and hide that for now I am gonna turn on all the other pieces here now so now everything is turned on now I am going to pick that suit and take this pixel layer of the pattern I could turn that on now and drag that onto the suit icon and to the right it's right on the suit but it's very flat I take that the main suit right now and I change the blend mode so I'm going to go down the line and decide what blend mode I think I'm going to use so oh, I'm using overlay and I have to remember that when I do the lapels let's go back a little bit I'm going to turn on the pattern lower the opacity we don't want this pattern to go straight across because that's not what really would happen when a tailor makes it when a tailor makes a suit it usually goes this way underneath and then kind of on an angle so we are going to look just at the lapel now forget the rest of the suit this might be the angle we would use let's bring that up again I'll back up a little bit duplicate control or command J right click and rasterize so now and hide the pattern itself so now we're back on a pixel layer and I'm gonna drag that down to the left lapel and to the right and let's look at what we have that looks pretty good on the other one what I think I'll do is I'm gonna duplicate the lapel pixel layer control command J bring that back to the top and instead of it going on this angle I'm going to go to arrange flip horizontally which means it's the other angle and now I'll bring that one down to the other lapel and to the right I think that's looking pretty good now so that's that's how you get the suit we'll, we'll deal with this shirt and the tie in a minute if you want to change the color of the suit let's get all the suit pieces together let's say that there's the two lapels and the body not the background remember that I just wanted the details when we use a blend mode which we used overlay if you take that away it look how flat that looks that's why we keep the background in fact we should take that background and lock it just to make sure we don't touch it for any reason so let's do color now let's take the base of the suit and the two lapels and com control or command G and we're gonna group it we're gonna call this suit and let's take that suit and go to effects and color overlay let's choose a color let's say we want to do I don't know in the bluish some kind of a blue suit and then we gotta choose a blend mode let's go down the line I might do the light suit and let's change the color to a darker blue 
Uh, one other thing is you can lower the opacity. So if you want a more subtle blue, you can keep that just like that. Here's the before and there's the after. So now let's play with the uh, tie and the shirt. Let's do the tie first. Obviously change the color of the tie. We could just do the same thing, color overlay. Um, pick a color, something like that, and decide what blend mode we want. I think I just might go color and I'll lower the opacity. So that brings us to a little bit of a burgundy tie. If you wanted to put a pattern on the tie, we could do a pattern the same way. I'll go to Google. Tools, Usage Rights, Creative Commons. Let's see how we go. Let's try this really bad floral. I'm just going to right click and copy image. I'll go back here, go to the top and control command V. We're going to paste that image. Let's rasterize it. Rectangle selection and control copy paste. Deselect, hide the other one. So there's my repeat pattern and I am going to shrink it because I think it's crazy to keep it that big and then we go layer new pattern layer from selection and there it is and let's make it really small because it's going on a tie lower the opacity and just look at the tie now as I do this so let's keep going that's good you know what I might even turn it I think that's much better so since I'm not going to be using this again I'm just going to rasterize it right from the start so rasterize, bring it down to the icon of the tie and to the right. And it's right on the tie. All right, and we don't need this anymore. We'll delete it. So there's my tie. Now remember, we, we had some color going on here. And so let's go back to effects. The red isn't really working very well in this particular case. Maybe we'll go to... Ugh. <laughs> well, as you could tell, I do these on the on the fly, and they don't. You could see it's not a very good look. But I'm doing. Oh, I could bring up moral path. There we go. That's why the color is not showing. So let's go back to those reds, and let's see if we can get a burgundy, maybe some darker color. I think I'll go with a linear burn, and let's see how that works. Let's go there, and let's check the color again. Decide what color. This guy's not going to be very good, but okay. I'm just going to leave it at that because of this tutorial. So let's go back. So now we have a jacket and tie. I don't think he's coordinated very well. <laughs> but now comes the shirt. The shirt is a little bit tougher. Uh, the reason the shirt is tougher is it's white. I think before we do the shirt, I'm going to go to, I think I'm going to go to curves. I want the shirt to be darker. So let's see what we can do here. I want this shirt to be almost like a gray. Grays are much better for coloring than anything else. Let me put that under there first because I want it to be just the shirt. And you can see one of the problems here. This, When it was white, you didn't see it. This shirt was not really pieced together correctly. You'll have to play with that. I don't want to play with the whole thing because tutorial is going to take long. But what I'll do right now is just for this, make sure my snapping is off. I am going to take a pen tool, let's get a close up, and I'll just do part of it. So I'm going to just take the pen tool now, just very quickly, and put where I think the collar should have been. So I want to make sure that my snapping is turned off, and I'm going to go, I need to take this dress shirt and add where this white is, or I could take the jacket and do the same thing, it really doesn't matter, but I need to do one or the other. So what I'm going to do now is go to the pen tool. And I'm going to like just very quickly try and follow this suit. All right. And then we're going to hit the selection tool. As long as the pen tool is still picked, you can click the selection button. Now I'm on my dress shirt. So if I go over to now my smudge brush, I can now push the gray into that area. You could do it other ways too, but I'm just pushing the actual bottom shirt into the area. The reason the gray is there is because I want to do 100% strength, by the way, and 100% flow. I don't need it to be soft. 
and, and but the reason it's gray is because I already put a curves adjustment so I'm kind of trying and by doing this nothing on the outside is being affected that's why I had to do the selection whoops you have to be careful if you go from white to gray then control command Z you got to always go from gray out but um, that's how you do that so let's go back so now that the shirt is gray we can now once again go to effects color overlay I'm, and then pick a color so we can pick maybe a light blue I don't know what color shirt we're gonna wear and then decide what color because it's gray you're able to change the color much easier than if it wasn't gray because white does not change very well even white or black is really tough to change overlay I don't like that blue but I'm also going to lower the opacity here and maybe change it to a different blue this is really not a pretty sh <laughs> this is like probably this guy has no taste whatsoever you know I used to be a fashion designer you'd think I would be able to pick something out but on a video this is kind of tough to just work on the fly <laughs> so you have to bear with me especially that tie I hate that tie <laughs> just for the tie pattern is really giving me some problems here so I might change the color of the tie later let's go with the purple <laughs> and I'm gonna go back to that tie because I really can't stand. I'm gonna hit effects again I can't stand that color on the tie all right so he's ugly it's so, so so he's not a fashion guy so let's leave it at that let's go back again to the beginning so this is what he asked me to do and this is <laughs> this is what I ended up with and I hope I didn't confuse the heck out of you so David that's your tutorial and I hope you learned something from it and also the rest of you and if you did please click that like and subscribe and have a great day bye